Watch this, watch this. Science, physics, and importantly, expectations. He could expect that to happen. Because he knew the science, because he knew the physics, but expectations are what we expect to happen. So we're going to be talking about classroom expectations today in our lesson four. So remember, you can't self-pace without independence. So your little beagle friend there, being independent. Independence requires knowing expectations. What do we expect to have happen? What's expected of us? Procedures. What are we supposed to do? Like, how are we supposed to do things? And routines. What do we do when? It's kind of the idea. But let's go into these topics in a little more detail. So, expectations. Kindness. Kindness is an important part of being a human being, living in society, having friends, having community, being part of something bigger than yourself. And kindness is what we should expect. One of my favorite quotes, which you'll probably see on the, wall, on the board sometime this year, is that in a world of performative cruelty, a world where people act cruel as a performance to get likes, to get clicks, to get people talking about them, to get hyped, right? In a world of performative cruelty, kindness is punk, so be punk AF. So I expect all of you to be punks and rebel against the status quo by being kind to each other and the people around you. Respect. I expect you to respect yourself, the people around you, the materials in our classroom, and me. I should be respecting you and the materials in the room. And I think it's entirely reasonable to, to expect that from you in return. Respect is an important part of us having a society where we can work together and we can avoid problems. And last, responsible. You are responsible for yourself. You chose to do the things you did or you chose to not do the things you didn't do. And that doesn't mean that I'm going to rag on you about what you did or didn't do. But you're accountable for it. Whatever consequences there is for not doing those things, like if you don't do half the unit and take zeros, you're responsible for that. If you threw something and it hit someone else, you're responsible for that. It's a pretty obvious thing, but I want us to be clear and have the same expectations that you're responsible for your actions, that I'm responsible for my actions, and that we need to take responsibility. Next, procedures. Procedures are kind of the how to do an action. It's not the same as an expectation. Part of this lesson is understanding how these things are different. They're all important, but they're not the same. One example is like the steps to open a lock. Let's say you have a combo lock. You're like, oh, the combination is two, three, one. I got to spin the first dial to two, spin the first, second one to three, spin the last one to one, and then it opens. That's the procedure to open the lock. It's not an expectation. Right? It's not the same thing as what we just talked about. It's just how you do an action. The steps to sharpen a pencil, right? You line it up with the hole, you put it in, you rotate the pencil slightly to get a clean cut on it, and then when the machine stops making the noise you associate with wood being filed away, you pull it out. Just steps, right? A one, two, three, four instructional guide. That's what procedures are. Last is routines. Now, routines are regularly performed actions. You've had routines your whole life. In the morning, maybe you always get up at a certain time. Maybe you always take a shower before you come to school. Maybe you always do a bell ringer in a class. I know we have our do nows every day. And maybe you have a weekly quiz. Maybe one of your classes every Friday you take a quiz. That's not a procedure. It's not how you take a quiz. It's not an expectation in the sense of expecting how people act. It's a routine. You know every Friday in that class quiz is coming. And that's what routines are. So here's our digital assignment for lesson four. Find another student working on this lesson at the practice part. Find a partner. Uh, read the following situation together. Take 30 seconds to quietly think about it. Take your time to think about it and then share your thoughts with the other student. You can go ahead and pause if you want to do this while the video is playing. 
you are visiting an English teacher's classroom halfway into the class. The teacher rings a bell and the students all pull out their textbooks and start working on an activity. Is this an expectation, a procedure, or routine? Why do you think that? If you're watching, pause the video, think about it for 30 seconds, and then share your thoughts to the other student before you get that mastery check, and have a great rest of your day.